it's Michelle and today I'm going to show you a really fun project for Christmas. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I made this snowman hat and this is a um, kind of full-sized one. It's made from a coffee can and a plastic dinner plate. And I'll talk to you a little bit about how I made this one, but the one we're going to recreate is going to be a smaller version that we're going to do as an ornament to hang on the tree. So this one here was made with a coffee can. And that was the 30.6 ounce size of a metal coffee can. And what I did with that was just sand it down, roughed it up a little bit so it wasn't glossy anymore, so it would take paint. And then for the brim of the hat, I used a plastic dinner plate that I bought at Walmart. It was just one of these plastic plates that you get. It was, I think there were four in a pack for a dollar. And so I used one of those. And I turned it upside down and turn the can upside down and that's how I formed my hat. Now as you can see here we've got this little rim that we don't have on the other one and I just sanded that down smooth and it sands away pretty quickly because it's just soft plastic so it didn't take long at all. And then turned this upside down and glued it down with some E6000. And then I let that completely dry overnight. And after it was completely dry, I took it outside and I spray painted it with a flat black paint. I didn't use a gloss. And then while that paint was still wet, I sprinkled it with a little bit of black glitter. That way we get a matte look with a little bit of a sparkle as if it's maybe frosted over a little bit which I think is really really cute and then I came in and I sprayed it with some of the spray snow that I just found in the floral department at Walmart and then I just kind of spritzed some little places here and there with the snow and then I let that completely dry and then I came in and just decorated it up a little bit, which you can do any way that you want to. I added a band of plaid ribbon, and I put some little clear plastic snowflakes here and there, and I just glued these on with the E6000, and it looks like the little snowflakes have landed on it. Then on, on top of the ribbon, I added some pine sprigs, a pine cone, a poinsettia flower, and some red glitter berries. And like I said, you can put any decorations you want. I just thought these looked very Christmassy and is how I wanted to decorate my snowman hat. And I use this usually as a decoration with some of the, like the sheeting of snow laying under it as if maybe... You know, the snowman has melted there by my front door on the table there that's beside the door. And it's just a pretty little decoration that you can sit around. And we're going to make a miniature version today as a Christmas tree ornament. And we're going to do it pretty much the same way that I did this larger one. And I'll go over that again with you too as we do the smaller one. Okay, so for our smaller version, we're going to be doing, like I said, pretty much the same thing, but on a smaller scale. So what I used was a lid from a cannon jar and another metal can. This time it was from tomato paste. Very small can. This is the only thing that I could find that was small enough around and actually the ratio to the brim still was not exactly perfect but it was the best I could come up with 
and I couldn't find anything that big around in a shorter can. So I measured down about how far I wanted it, which was about wrong side. About an inch and a half. Okay? And I had my husband cut that for me. And then I sanded it smooth. And the cannon jar lid is about two and five eighths. Okay? So, I had my husband cut that down to where I marked it for him. And then I took the shorter version and I glued it with E6000 to the lid, just like I did with the larger one. And I let that completely dry overnight. And after that was dry, I took it outside. This is what I ended up with. I spray painted it again with the flat black paint. You want to use the flat. It just does not look as good with the gloss black. You want a little sparkle, but not gloss. So, again, while that paint was wet, I sprinkled it with a little bit of black glitter. And that was this here from Walmart. It comes in a multi-pack of these little shaker containers in, I think, 12 different colors. So that's easy to find. It's kind of a fine black glitter. And I sprinkled that on while it was wet to get that sparkle. And then I let that completely dry. And now we're ready to embellish it. Now for this one, I didn't really want to do the spray snow because it is so small. I was afraid I would completely cover it because I don't know if you've ever used that spray snow, but it sprays kind of wildly, so you end up with it everywhere. On a larger project, it worked out okay, but on the small one, I think we're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm just going to maybe dab on some little snow areas with some craft paint in white. And this is easy to find. It's the Apple, Apple Barrel brand that they have at Walmart. I'm using the gloss. You could use flat. It doesn't really matter for this. And the, I don't really see a color name on there. Just, just white. Just white. Okay, so what I'm going to do for that is just get some of that on Q-tip. Let's see. Let me bring in something to put that on. Okay. Put out a little puddle of that. And then just daub my Q-tip into that. And just kind of dab on some snow here and there. Now I want to see where my front's going to be. You can see that seam there that goes up the can. I want to put that toward the back. So this will be our front. And I'm going to just kind of dab on some snow just in a few places. Oops, okay, I guess we'll put a little snowy spot there. And I'm going to make this little area here kind of lump up over the edge. And there's some snow on top, maybe.
it going around the back side a little too. We want to try to make it look good all the way around because this will be hanging on a tree and you'll be able to see probably from all sides as it turns on the tree. Maybe we'll put a little bit on the brim on the back side. Okay. Now you can kind of wipe that off and then maybe dab back over that. Make it look a little lumpy. Maybe some little bare places in it. Get another clean Q-tip. Maybe kind of daub that off a little bit. So it's not quite so solid. Because fallen snow probably wouldn't be so solid. And really, any little accidents like that are going to be fine on this project because it's just another little spot of snow. So that's okay. Tear off this page. And use the clean top of that pad to work. And just keep daubing until you think it looks as heavy or as light as you want your snow to be. I really like the way this spray snow turned out. I wish we could do it more controlled, maybe on this small project. Okay, and now we really don't have to give that much drying time or anything because we daubed most of it off, so it's not very wet at all. And then I'm going to add some glitter onto that to maybe make it look a little more snowy. And this is just a tube of glitter glue that I got in the scrapbooking section at Walmart. And that's the Studio G brand tube of glitter glue. And it doesn't have a color name. But it's just in the white iridescent. And it was like I think 97 or 94 cents or something like that is not very not very expensive at all. So just put some of that on there. And we're going to go in and pounce that glitter glue onto our snow areas. kind of muddling together with the white paint but that's okay it's snow if you all know of something that would give that spray snow effect that could be used maybe on a project this small let me know in the comments I live in a small town and I don't have craft stores so I'm sure there are a lot of products out there that I'm not even aware of. So you all let me know. And maybe I can find it online.
of the white and pounce it all off of there maybe like a kind of a dry brushing technique And then just everywhere you add some snow, be sure to come back and add some sparkle to it. And then just let it dry. I'm going to try to go ahead and work with mine before it's completely dry just to get this finished for you and show you all what it looks like when it's done. Turn off another clean page to my little work surface there. And then we're just going to use our hot glue gun to attach some embellishments. And I've got a ribbon here I think it was also from Walmart. Most of my craft supplies are. Like I said, I don't have a craft store. This is just a red and green and gold plaid. Looked very Christmassy to me. Almost identical, I thought, to the larger ribbon that I used on the larger hat. So we're just going to wrap that around and hot glue it at the base there. And for this, we want our seam to be underneath our other decorations. That way it'll be hidden. So, I'm going to bring in my hot glue gun, and I'm using a low temp, okay? And I want my seam to be about right here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. Just a tiny little dot. And scoot that ribbon as far down to the brim as I can. And glue it down. Bring it all the way around. And then I can see where to trim that off. Just a little bit longer than where it meets. So I have a little bit of an overlap to glue down. And like I said, if that's not perfect there, that's okay. We're going to cover it up. And I think I want to get some pine sprigs for that too. Let me see what I can find. Okay, I found some pine sprigs just like the ones on my larger hat, which may be too large. So I thought what I might do is Give it a little haircut so that it's a little bit narrower and will suit the size of our ornament a little better. Okay. Do the 
same thing with another one here. And what a mess. If you're given pond sprigs a haircut, be ready for a mess. pretty good. Now, I'm going to cut that one in half. Maybe they're a little too long. Cut them down some more. Cut this one down. Okay. And then, I'm just going to put some hot glue there where the ribbon comes together and just kind of place all three of those in there in that little puddle of glue. Yep, a little more glue. Looking good, I think. And I think I'll add some holly. I love holly Christmas decorations. <clears throat> I'm just going to bend that wire up. hold into the glue. Okay. So we figure out where we want to place it. I'll bend that up a little bit more. Okay. And I think I'm going to put it right there. the glue for a second. Okay. And then we'll put in a couple of our little gold pine cones. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I've got a little cardinal here. I love the cardinals. I live in Kentucky. And the cardinal is our state bird. And they're also very iconic to Christmas time. So, that was for a floral arrangement. And I just clipped those little wires off of the feet there. And I'm going to glue him on the top. I think I'll put him right there.
just a little bit of hot glue. We don't want it blobbing out from underneath him too bad. And just kind of seat him down there and hold it until he's dry. And we've got one of our clear snowflakes. And I think maybe our hat might be a little too small to stand it up the way we did before. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just put it to the front there. Just put a little dot on the back of the snowflake. Stick it right on. Clean up my mess a little bit. Whoops. Let me try that glue again. I may have to use E6000 it doesn't hold. Okay. I'm going to move my little cloth here with the mess on it. Set that aside so we can clean that up later. And there's our little ornament. Now all we have to do is attach a little string to hang it on the tree. And I've got some ornament string here. It's elastic. You don't have to use the elastic, just whatever you've got. Cut off a few inches of that. I'm going to tie it. And about a double knot. And maybe even another double knot over top of that. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut right below that knot. And we'll glue it right to the center of our hat. Just a tiny little dot. And then just stick your knot right into that glue. I'm going to use my scissors a little bit to help me Stick that in there. Well, my glue set up. Let me try again. Okay. Now I'm going to try to be ready ahead of time so we can work before that glue dries. Put a little dot. And then press your knot right into the glue. Okay. Oh, I think we got it that time. Okay, guys, I did have to come back and re glue the snowflake, the string, and the bird with E6000. The hot glue just seemed to pop right loose so I have re-glued that and I'm letting that set. It's not quite set yet. However, the ribbon and the floral embellishments seem to be holding just fine with the hot glue so I'm going to leave that. Also, I'm adding some glitter. It's extra fine glitter in the white iridescent color 
It's called Crystal Diamond Color. And I'm just sprinkling a little of that on where my glitter glue was still wet. Because it wasn't looking quite snowy enough for me. So I'm going to see if I can embellish it up just a touch. Maybe make it look a little more snowy. See how that works out. Okay. And then we'll just kind of... Oops, I missed a spot on the back. And then just kind of turn it over a little. And I think that does look a little better. A little more snowy. I missed that spot on the front too. Maybe with that look of that dry powdery glitter it looks a little more like snow than the glitter glue. So a little bit of trial and error but I think it's turned out really really well. I love this project. I love the ornament. I love the larger hat that I did last year. An adorable little Christmas tree ornament or full size to sit by your door as if Frosty just took his hat off on the way in. I think it's really really cute. Probably one of my favorite crafts that I've done so far. But then again, everyone is my new favorite. So you all let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.